Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We've got a uh, tape recording, hand send, applause key, pass principle, ruler walk, staple pen. I've heard of a staple gun. What's a staple pen? <laughs> Essential scissors <laughs> and give exit. I mean, we've got like office supplies, scissors and pen and staple and tape and maybe ruler. <laughs> um, we got school related things. I would think rulers and passes and principles are or school related. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly how to like fit all these together. So I guess let's hold off on all those. It feels like there's too much to do at once. So let's find a, a kind of an out there category, maybe essential and key. This could be like the yellow, just synonyms. Um, what else is like, just means essential, um, important. The principal thing, maybe? Yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't think principal was going to go to sc with school anyway, to be honest. Um, but what else is, like, the important thing? Or the, the root? The staple, maybe? Hmm. I could see staple being that. Is there nothing else that's better? I really don't see it, so let's try it. Nice, that was it. Fundamental. Okay, that was the green. Interesting. Fundamental is a good word. That's kind of what I was trying to think of when I was saying other words. Um, let's see, what else is here? Exit is interesting. Exit sign. Um, fire exit. Is there like fire something? Fire. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure. There's too many phrases with exit. And if it is a fill in the blank, which I think it might be. I mean, I guess you could exit somewhere, you could walk out of somewhere. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not too convinced about that one. Um, applause. Okay, so that I'm, I'm with we could with with recording. I'm thinking about how in um, audiences there's signs that appear like applause, right? So you're supposed to applaud when that sign lights up. So these are like signs that will light up, like applause, and then recording, like oh, we're recording right now. Don't enter. Um, so are there any other, like, indicators, like, or signs? I mean, I guess these could be signs. I did say exit sign. Hold on. I don't know why I didn't make that connect. Like, I connected these two with sign and then didn't realize that. Because they feel different to me. But yeah, these are just, like, signs you might see that are lit up. Um, what's the other lit up sign? Oh, come on. If it's not this, after all that. Um, walk, like the walk signal. Um, across, to cross a street. Okay, I'm going to go with this because I really want it to be true. Nice, that was the purple light up signs. I, I was exactly right. It's signs that light up. I'm very proud of that one. That was cool. I still don't have yellow, though, which is <laughs> interesting. Uh, so that should make the rest of these easy because purple is gone and one of these is yellow. So let's figure out which one's yellow. Is it just ruler, scissors, pen, and tape then? Just office supplies? Yeah, school supplies. Okay. Uh, pass, send, give, and hand. This is interesting. So this is the blue. I mean, this is just to give some, like, I, I mean, I know I'm using give in the category, which isn't right, but just transmit. I don't <laughs> just, I don't know. I hand off. Like, I don't know. What are they going to name the category? Transfer. Okay. Transferring ownership. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, it's, it's this it's, here. Take it. <laughs> Um, change ownership. Um, cool. Well, I think I did well today. I'm proud that I figured out the light up signs uh, when I did. I think that was neat. Um, yeah, and I was right. It was school related stuff. Although when I locked it in, I said it was office supplies, but they are also office supplies. I guess they are more like school supplies than office supplies, depending on what office you work at. All right. Anyway, how'd you do? Let's do the mini crossword for Thursday, July 11th. Let's go. <clears throat> Part of a cherry you shouldn't eat. The stem. Detour sign feature. The arrow. Depart. What's another word for depart? Like leave? Nail polish brand that sounds like two letters of the alphabet. I do not know nail polish brands, but I do know letters of the alphabet. And I think that sale might be down. Shopper's excuse to save money. Sale. So is it... Let's just do the downs. <laughs> Actually, let's look at nine across. Part of a pomegranate you should eat. Um, the the meat of it, maybe. Let's see what. Let's look at the downs. Headlock question mark. Okay, I don't like meat. Um, 
headlock. I'm not sure about that one. Wipe as a memory card. Erase. So is this ES or something? Or I don't know. Uh, common date night activity. Movie. <laughs> um, I was thinking like mover. I was like move, mover. <laughs> Fast growing plant. A weed. Okay. Uh, oh, easy. Easy? I don't know how that's spelled though. Um, part of a pomegranate. EED. Part, the part of a pomegranate you should eat. Oh, you should eat the seeds of the pomegranate. And then headlock. Um, trees? I mean, trees is the only word I can think of that fits here, but why does that mean headlock? I don't know, but I'm gonna put E. Okay, it's not E, so I was right, it's not E. <laughs> um, headlock, question mark. And I don't know the nail polish brand. Darn, I was going so fast and then just nail polish just completely derailed my whole solve. Um, so what is the play on words for headlock? Are we talking about like... I mean, I could just try every letter. I hate doing that, though. I mean, okay, so is it S-E? Okay, it is. Oh, tress. Yes, tress is, um, like, okay, yeah, it's a lock of hair. Okay. Oh, I should have thought of that earlier. S-E. S-E. So it wasn't E-S, it was S-E. So I thought it was E-S first when I got the E, and then I thought it was E-C, like E-Z. But no, it's S E. Okay. S E. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to stop dwelling on that. I think I looked at every clue then. How'd you do? Let's do strands for July 11th. Today's theme is loaded lunch. Loaded lunch. Uh, well, anything that's loaded, um, I've learned it just means it has bacon, right? Loaded mashed potatoes. They're mashed potatoes with bacon. <laughs> loaded fries. Fries with bacon <laughs> so is it bacon <laughs> i see bac here um i don't think it's bacon um loaded lunch though are we just i mean is it just literally lunch stuff i don't know what the loaded would be but okay we've got butter here let's try that what does okay so you're not eating butter directly for lunch so i'm wondering if this is like ingredients okay i've seen chili it's interesting that they're just hugging each other we've got baked oh just bake Oh, oh, so it's baked. Oh, it is baked potato. Oh, okay. And we do have bacon. I just didn't see it. Wow. Okay. It's weird that I just instantly get the category sometimes and then don't even realize that I've done so. Uh, so cheddar. What else goes on a loaded baked potato? Um, chives. Does this say broccoli? Do you put broccoli on a baked potato? I guess that's... I mean, broccoli with cheese is good, so I don't see why not. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> stumbled my way right into that. It's almost like I tripped and fell over the theme and landed, happened to land right on the spanogram. So, <laughs> all right, cool. Um, well, I guess I'm right. Loaded means bacon, right? <laughs> anyway, how'd you do? <laughs>